Hi everyone. So today we're gonna review um, how to solve word problems using a strategy that we learned back in school called the three read strategy. This strategy is great because not only do we read the problem three different times, but it helps us really make sense of what the word problem is about and what exactly the word problem is asking for us to do. So I've written down a problem for us to read and we are gonna read it three different times. The first time we read it, I really want you to think about in your head, what is the problem about? So our first read will be answering, what is the problem about? Jaden has 12 fidget spinners in her backpack. Then her friend gives her some of her fidget spinners to hold on to. Now she has 23 fidget spinners in her backpack. So I want you to think in your head or you can say it out loud to yourself. What is the problem about? Hmm. Awesome. So if you said that the problem was about fidget spinners, great job. Yes, Jaden, one of our main characters, has some fidget spinners and it looks like one of her friends has fidget spinners too and they're being super generous and they decide to share some of their fidget spinners with Jaden. Okay, now we're going to read it a second time. The second time we read it, I want you to think about the question, what are the quantities in this word problem? Remember, quantities are like the numbers in the word problems. But don't forget that sometimes a quantity can be re represented by a word, okay? So, what are the quantities? All right, here's the second read. Jaden has 12 fidget spinners in her backpack. Then her friend gives her some of her fidget spinners to hold on to. Now she has 23 fidget spinners in her backpack. Again, I want you to think in your head, or you can say it out loud to yourself, what are the quantities in this problem? Awesome, thank you. So one of the first quantities I see is the number 12. Remember when we name our quantities, we can't just say the number, we have to include the label or the unit. 12 what? 12 fidget spinners. So I see that as one of our first quantities. 12 fidget spinners. And I see another quantity. Now, Jaden or she has 23 fidget spinners. So I'm thinking about the relationship between 12 and 23. Jaden started off with 12 and now she has more. She is now 23. There was one tricky quantity in here that was represented by a word. Did you figure it out? Yes, it is the word sum. Do we know how many sum is in this problem? No, sum could mean two, sum could mean 15. We don't know. So I'm gonna draw a little question mark because I'm actually not sure how many Jaden's friend gave her. Now, the third read is going to think about what is the question that I have hidden. So what question would make sense for this problem? So what is the question for this problem? All right. Jaden has 12 fidget spinners in her backpack. Then her friend gives her some of her fidget spinners to hold on to. Now she has 23 fidget spinners in her backpack. What could the hidden question be? What would make sense? All right, hopefully you thought about it or said it to yourself. This is the question. How many fidget spinners did her friend give her or give Jaden? Great job. So we've read this problem three different times. We've thought about what the problem is about, We've talked about what the quantities are in the problem, and now we know the question of the problem. So now we're gonna solve it. So the first way is I'm gonna just, I like to read the problem again to myself and then start drawing my answers. 
So Jaden has 12 fidget spinners in her backpack. Then her friend gives her some of her fidget spinners to hold on to. Now she has 23 fidget spinners in her backpack. So I know Jaden started off with 12 fidget spinners and then her friend gave her some more. So when I'm trying to think if I'm Jaden and my friend gave me some more, I am adding more to my pile. So I think it's 12 plus and we already agreed that we don't know how much sum is. So I'm gonna write a box because I have no idea how many my friend gave me. So I started with 12, I got some more, and now I have 23. So that's my first equation. And does anybody remember the name of this equation? That's right. We wrote this equation in a horizontal, in a horizontal way, horizontal equation. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this equation into our good old friend, a math mountain. And I always remember to draw my face in a math mountain. Huh. So I know on the top, the total goes on the top. And the total is always the biggest number. It's not always the number after the equal sign. It's always the largest number. So I know my total is 23. That's the largest number. One of my add-ins is 12. And I'm trying to find the missing add-in. Okay? If you see, I haven't solved my problem yet. I'm just writing it in two different ways. Horizontal, math mountain. Now I'm going to solve it. I like to solve it using my math mountain. So I know I can solve this missing add-in by doing 23 minus 12. So I'm going to put it in equation. I'm going to draw, I'm going to stack my numbers in the standard form and I'm going to subtract. Before I subtract, I always draw my tens and ones place to help me. And I always start in my ones place first. Three minus two, you can use your fingers, you can draw a picture, but three minus two is one. Two tens minus one ten is 110, 11, what am I missing? That's right, if you guessed it, I am missing my label. So my answer isn't just 11, my answer is how many fidget spinners? That's my label, 11 fidget spinners. Oops, and then I'm gonna box my answer, we always box our answer so we know that that is the answer. How many fidget spinners did her friend give her? Her friend gave Jaden 11 fidget spinners. Can't wait for you guys to use this strategy on some problems. Don't forget to be kind and be safe. Bye!